Matthew, and then I'm coming back to Sylvia. Great. I can thanks. see you too. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I, I, I saw the, the, the press release put out about the Minova rapes by Minusco. But then I also saw what Mr. Cobbler said in the council, which was that I, he said, uh, I do recognize the steps taken by the government. My colleagues and myself are in regular contact with the government to provide regular updates, at least as prepared for delivery. So what I wanted to know is how this, the idea that no one has been held accountable 11 months after the rapes squares with the UN's human rights due diligence policy, which says that the UN will not provide support to units who, which engage in abuses just like this. What is the timeline? How, how long can it go and the UN still be providing support to the very units implicated and named by the UN as involved in the rapes? Well, I'd simply say, Matthew, that the mission is adhering to the due diligence policy and uh, Mr. Kobler has uh, spoken uh, both uh, through the statement and in the Security Council on this topic. I don't have anything but to add to the it. Only thing, I, just, I guess it may, maybe you could answer it or DPKO could answer it. What is the policy? How long? I mean, can you see why from the outside 11 months of no prosecution and still assisting the units militarily seems inconsistent with a human rights due diligence policy? Well, first of all, uh, I will check to see if there's anything further to be said. But the, the second thing is that uh, the mission is adhering to the policy. Uh, and also, uh, it is for the authorities in the DRC to carry out uh, the investigations and to prosecute uh, people. It is not for the mission to do so. But is okay. the policy in writing, this is my last thing, can we get a copy of what the human rights due diligence policy of the UN is to, to see how it, you know, because I understand that there's a duty on them, but there's also a duty on the UN to live up to what it said. I heard Ms. O'Brien speak about the policy, but is it, is it a policy that's in writing and available? I'll check for you, Matthew. Okay, thanks. Yes, yes Sylvia. But I appreciate that you gave me the floor. They have three questions there, two questions there, and one of them was on the hostages. Uh, okay. Yes, Matthew. Sure. Thanks, Martin. Maybe um, something different. Yes, yeah, it is something different. Um, these peacekeepers, uh, soldiers from Nigeria right. that served in Mali, uh, have now returned to their country and have been assigned to Borno State, I guess, to fight <coughs> Boko Haram. But they've, mm -hmm. they've gone public with complaints that money that was, they were owed for their service in Mali, up to $2,000 a piece, was never paid by the government. So I wanted to know, this is now reported in the Nigerian press, what is the procedure for, for UN-provided funds actually reaching the soldiers that perform as peacekeepers, and what is DPKO's response to this public complaint by Nigerian peacekeepers? Well, I'd need to check with my colleagues in peacekeeping operations on, on this uh, specific uh, case, but the, the general methodology mm -hmm. is as follows, that uh, DPKO, peacekeeping operations, does not pay individual peacekeepers directly. M money is given to the country concerned to then pay their peacekeepers, and that's how it's done. But what if there, I mean, like, for example, there was this dispute about the Chadians also in Mali, and, the, and the, they, they either mutiny or left their post because they didn't get paid. At what point does DPKO say there's a problem here if soldiers are actually walking off their posts? due to not getting paid. What, what steps have been taken, for example, in the case of the Chadians? Well, that was self-evidently a, a problem, uh, yeah. Matthew, and uh, discussions took place about it. Uh, on this particular instance that you've referred to now, uh, involving, it would seem, uh, Nigerian peacekeepers, mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll look into it. I, I don't have anything further for you.